Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the data from MongoDB and create a chart using the data in the node rate. Okay. So before proceeding further, if you are new to my channel or if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. So without wasting time, let's get started. So we are in the node rate screen right now. So initially I'll be taking one inject node. After that, I'll be taking one button node. So I'll be creating a button when we click on this button, the data will be fetched and display it to the screen on the chart form. Okay. So for this, I need to select one tab before that I will add some label for this. So I added that label and also I need to select the tab here. In which tab I need to show the charts. So after that, I'll be taking MongoDB node where I'll be connecting the string and get the data from the database. So my connection string here is users. Okay. Is it's a collection name? So I need to, I need to add that collection name here. So after that, I need to select aggregate or all. Okay. So after that, I'll be connecting those nodes here connected okay i need to take the function node here so in this function node i'll be uh, basically mapping those data the data which is coming from the mongodb okay i need to add some series label and the data for the chart okay so i'll be going to map that map those data here so db data an object where I'll be adding some data here. So I have added series here. After that, I'll be taking a data. So these are the data which is coming from the database. Basically, we have the data in the basis dot payload. Okay, so we will be importing that. So we have taken one object that is young and inside that there is another object A. So same way we have another object. Adult dot B and message dot payload. Here it should be old age. Okay, I'll make it changes after that. Labels. Okay. So first one is young. Second one is adult. And third is old age. Okay. After that, I need to add this DB data in payload payload object. Okay, so I'll map it here. So coding part is over. No need to make any changes right now. So after that, I need to take the chart here. I can map this data in different type of charts. You can see here. So according to the data, the chart will be displayed. Okay. So I'll be telling different type of charts here and assigning the tabs also as you can see. You can go through these charts and explore it by yourself. There are a lot of settings and changes you can do from this. Okay, I'll be just showing the basic settings here right now.
so i'll be setting all these four charts okay So last table, last chart also I need to map it here. Click on done. Okay. For this also tap to charts I need to select and map is map this all data so map this all data function node into the charts okay so connection is done here click on deploy so that's it okay so i'll be opening the dashboard now So it's opening right now so it is taking some time to open okay you can see that the data has been so once the we click on the button so data will display okay so it's happening right now so yeah you can see that that has been displayed also we can see the data in the database so these are some data which are passing from the mongodb okay so we are trying to map this data here and display the charts okay this was a simple application which i tried to explain you if you like this content please like this video if you have any queries please comment down and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys.